Welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 14. Uh, God's people have crossed the Red Sea, and today, verses 26 to 31, the, the Egyptian chariots have followed them through, and now they're fleeing. We talked about that yesterday morning, and let's see the conclusion of this part. Then the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea so that the waters may come back over the Egyptians, over their chariots, and over their horsemen. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its normal state at daybreak, while the Egyptians were fleeing right into it. Then the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen, even Pharaoh's entire army that had gone into the sea after them. Not even one of them remained. But the sons of Israel walked on dry land through the midst of the sea, and the waters were like a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the shore. When Israel saw the great power which the Lord had used against the Egyptians, the people feared the Lord, and they believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. So now destruction falls upon the Egyptians. God calls Moses to raise his staff again. And so in the morning, the waters return. And what more can we say? You just heard it. The entire Egyptian host is drowned in the sea. And the Hebrews see their dead bodies on the seashore. And then the text says, and kind of here's a key part here, then, then they believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. Now in the end, those who rebel against God, none will remain alive. They'll all be, they'll all be ended. They're, they're choosing to fight against he who is life. It's so much better right now to discover God's purposes, to seek things out, to investigate for oneself, to study the scriptures, to find out uh, what God is actually like, what is the gospel actually like, not necessarily what you saw on a TV, uh, Christianity, or, or in a video, you know, or whoever, but what does the Bible say? We want to go back and see what is, what is God like from his word. How does he deal with sin? How does he deal with people who are imposing, who are, who are oppressing other people? How does God deal with that? Read the Bible, find out. It's so much better right now to discover God's purpose than to live your life, get, a, get so many things wrong, and at the last moment, maybe you'll discover the right thing. If, let's figure it out right now. Let's enlist his love and his mighty power to help us instead of figure out later at the end of the day, you know, we've been fighting against the God of heaven. Let's be on his side. See you tomorrow morning.